everybody and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be working on our third pattern of this series of patterns and we're going to be making this beautiful pattern i don't know if you can see it but it looks amazing it's very much 3d as well as the other two and I think it's going to make a beautiful cardigan, coat, even a baby blanket, for example. Or you can use it to make, you know, if you're making dresses, for example. So this is the one we're going to be making. And we're going to start it like always. I'm using a DK Young and a four millimeter hook as well so we're gonna start with that starting chain I'm gonna be making a sample so mine is gonna be a little bit smaller if you're making um, a cardigan or maybe even a blanket you have to chain the length that you need for your project this pattern is worked in multiples of two plus one so I'm going to go ahead and chain 25 for my sample. And as I said, you chain however many you need for your project. I'll see you once we all have our desired chain. And then we're going to start on row number one together. Okay, I have got my desired chain length I've got 25 stitches and I'm ready for row number one we're going to start row number one in the fourth chain from the hook so we're going to count one two three four in this fourth chain here we're going to do a double crochet yarn over insert your hook into that chain space there yarn over pull up a loop you're going to have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two i'm going to be using stitch markers for the end and uh, start of each row you might not want to use stitch markers and that's absolutely fine i just find it that i get very easily distracted so i'm gonna be using them row number one is very easy and it's just double crochet into each stitch all the way to the end so keep on crocheting and put double crochet into each stitch and i'm going to meet you at the end of this row we're going to finish it together and we're going to start on row number two this is what our work should look like after completing row number one i've got two more stitches left from this row so i'm just going to finish that in that last stitch now and that's row number one completed so your work should look something like this we are ready to start row number two so what we'll do for that is we're going to chain one and turn our work Row number two is very easy and consists of single crochets all across that row. So we're going to start in this first stitch here. This is where our chain one is coming from. So that's this one here. So go ahead and put a single crochet right there. I'm going to pop in a stitch marker and then do a single crochet into each stitch all the way to the end i'm going to meet you at the end of row two we're going to finish it together and then we'll be ready to start row number three so i'm coming towards the end of row two your work should look something like this i just got the last stitch here to do Okay, and this is our work. To start on row number three, what we'll do is we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. 
three, four, and we're going to turn our work. This chain four is going to class as double crochet plus one plus chain one. So go ahead and pop in your stitch marker at that third chain because that's your double crochet. This will count as a double crochet. Next thing, we're going to do a front pose double crochet cluster. How are we going to do that? We're going to start our front post two rows down in these double crochets that we've made in the first row. So yarn over, insert your hook at the back of that pillar, like so. Yarn over, pull through. So now you've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Rather than completing this front post double crochet, we're going to skip one pillar there and in the next one we're going to yarn over and start another front post double. So yarn over, pull through and then yarn over, pull through two. You should now have three loops on your hook. So yarn over, pull through all three and chain one. Okay, so that's our first cluster there made. Next, we're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. So that's the stitch here. So yarn over, insert your hook there. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And chain one. And we're going to repeat this pattern all along this row. Okay, so yarn over, start your front post double in that pillar there, two rows down, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, do not finish it, skip one pillar and then in the next one you're going to start another front post double, like so. And this time you're going to finish this cluster. So yarn over, pull through all three. You're going to chain one. And then in the next stitch, which is this one here now, you're going to do a double crochet. Like so. And then chain one. And repeat that pattern. Now on the back, if, if you're not sure where to actually put the double crochet, on the back you can actually count the stitches because you can actually see them there. Okay, let me just get... Okay, so this is your chain one and then this is your cluster and another chain one. So you've got three in between the double crochets that you're making. I hope that makes sense. But if you doubt where the double crochet should go, just look at the back and make sure that you've got three stitches in between those normal double crochets. So continue with that pattern and I'm going to see you at the end of row three. We're going to finish this row together and then we're going to start. We're going to start with a row number four. This pattern is worked in four rows. So row four is going to be our last of the row repeat. So continue with this. And I'm going to meet you at the end and we're going to start row four together. I'm coming towards the end of row three. All I've got is just four stitches left. So I'm going to do my last front post double crochet cluster there. So this is going to be in the second to last pillar, two rows down. Gonna finish that chain one 
and you're gonna do a double crochet into this last stitch where we've got our stitch marker to finish that row after row three your work should look something like this you can actually start seeing this pattern now forming so we are ready for row number four row number four is the last row of our four row repeat so we're going to chain one and then turn our work row number four is a single crochet row so go ahead and put a single crochet into that first stitch and pop in your stitch marker like so and then what you'll do is you'll do a single crochet into each stitch please remember that we did do chain once on the previous row which means in, in this chain once you still need to put a single crochet so go ahead and do that and do the single crochet all across row number four i'm going to meet you once you are coming towards the end of this row we're going to finish it together and then we're going to start on the next one which is going to be a repeat of row number one but nonetheless we're going to start it together to get you going and um, yeah you'll be all set keep crocheting so i'm coming towards the end of row four please remember when we did row three we chained four which counts as a double crochet plus chain one which means in this space here we need to do two single crochets because essentially we've got two stitches in there you can actually count your stitches make sure you've got the right number of stitches so you haven't missed any because it's very easy to skip one okay so we are up to row five row five is a repeat of row one so what we'll do is we're gonna chain three turn our work and this chain three will count as a double crochet all chains do count as a double crochet so i'm gonna take that stitch marker and just put it there and just do double crochets all across this row and that's pretty much it guys i'm gonna keep crocheting until my work is a little bit bigger because i want to show you what it's gonna look like when it is a little bit bigger plus this is a different color yarn so you might actually see the difference between the colors and how it works with different colors as well so keep crocheting and i'll see you once my work is a little bit bigger as i said so i have completed the sample and i think it looks beautiful i have to admit i think i prefer the cream one to the pink one um, I don't know what you guys think you can tell me in the comments below but this is completed third pattern of my pattern series so far I believe I'm going to show you the other two that we've made I'm also going to put a link for them in the description box below so we've made this one so this was the second one and i think this is uh, so far my favorite one and we've also made this pattern which i think is going to be absolutely fab for a coat but Tell me what you think we'll see which one's got the most likes and that's the pattern that i'll use for my next project which is going to be a coat or a cardigan thank you all
for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial for this pattern if you did please subscribe to my channel like my video so you don't miss any future uploads and i hope you have a lovely day i'm gonna see you all very soon bye bye Thank you.